Hello friends, I am Rajinder Jatana on this side. Coming up with increasing and decreasing functions. What you find here, there are five figures. These five figures are strictly increasing. Look here, the curve is going up and up. It is going monetarily increasing, strictly increasing. Strictly increasing it is. It is increasing and increasing and increasing. Decreasing. Look here. This is decreasing here. And then it has become stable. Again it is increasing. Now look here. This curve is decreasing. It is strictly decreasing. It is decreasing, decreasing and decreasing. And in this case, it is decreasing and has become stable. Then it is again decreasing. So this is decreasing. In case of strictly decreasing, it is strictly going down. And here it is going down, becomes stable, then again goes down. This is neither increasing nor decreasing. Look here. This is strictly increasing, then it is strictly decreasing. So we call this neither increasing nor decreasing. Now, how to calculate with the help of derivatives that this is increasing or strictly increasing or decreasing or strictly decreasing. Now, in this case, in this case, this is, this is increasing, this is increasing, increasing. Now look here, what are the conditions? If you draw a tangent at any point on this curve, the slope of the tangent will be positive. It will make an acute angle. So acute angle means theta will be less than 90 degree. Tangent theta will be positive. So it means slope will be positive. In this case, slope is positive up to here and this is now parallel to x-axis so slope is zero again slope is increasing this tan theta is positive so there are two signs f dash x is zero and greater than zero this is zero equal to zero and it is greater than zero similarly it is decreasing if you draw a tangent at any point on this, it will make a obtuse angle. It will make a obtuse angle. So tangent theta will become negative. If theta is the angle which the tangent makes with the x-axis, then tangent theta will be negative. In the third case, fourth case, it is strictly decreasing. Then it, it has become stable. That is, it is parallel to x-axis. Slope is zero. Here slope is again negative. So there will be two signs. So there are two types of curves here. This is going down, becomes equal parallel to x-axis, then again goes down. So in the fifth case, it is strictly increasing, then it is strictly decreasing. Neither it is increasing nor it is decreasing. So these are five cases and we have to remember that whenever f dash x is greater than zero, it is strictly increasing. Whenever f dash x, whenever f dash x, whenever f dash x is greater than or equal to zero, it is increasing and 
and in this case it is strictly decreasing f dash x is less than 0 and in the next case it is less than equal to 0 it is decreasing it is neither increasing nor decreasing so this is what i wanted to teach you today i hope you might have understood thank you very much for watching my videos if you like it please do subscribe it good night